Okay, more on refrigerants today and all the terminologies and stuff. I'm going to talk about an azeotrope here. Uh, not that this one really is one. They kind of call it that, but it really isn't. So what is an azeotrope? An azeotrope is a refrigerant that is not a single fluid. I take R12, R22, those are single fluids. 134A is a single fluid. That means there's just one chemical in there. Some refrigerants are made up of more than one refrigerant. They can be an azeotrope or they can be a zeotrope. Okay? An azeotrope means that the both of the refrigerants that are in it, I say both, there could be three, I guess there could be four, I don't know, I haven't seen with four, but uh, <clears throat> all of which have boiling points that are very, very close to each other. So that when they boil, they boil as a group. If they boil as a group, they don't separate into two different refrigerants. So an azeotrope will do that. Now, why do we care in the refrigeration industry? Well, uh, let's say I have two refrigerants in a system that were charged in the system as they should be. It's a, a blend of two or three refrigerants. One refrigerant at 70 degrees, the pressure will be let's say 60 pounds and another one that at 70 degrees will be at 120 pounds if there's a leak in the system the higher pressure refrigerant will leak out first that will upset the blend okay an azeotrope is close enough together or chemically they've been made together that the two refrigerants act as one. And so there's no problem in the leaking issue. There are two other terms we use. One is a zeotrope. Okay? A zeotrope is one that will separate, that will, that 60 pounds and 120 pounds, they will separate. There's a third term, terminology we use here sometimes, near azeotrope. Thus, R410A. It is a near azeotrope. If it was a zeotrope, it would have to be charged as liquid from the cylinder. This cylinder is partly filled with liquid and the rest of it's gas. If I take just gas out of the top, that little thing about the higher pressure refrigerant is going to go out first and it's going to upset the blend. The blend of the two refrigerants will not uh, still be there. The percentages won't be there. So if it was a zeotrope, then I could not charge this by gas. And if I had a leak, unless I'm absolutely certain the leak was on the liquid side, then the blend will be upset and the entire amount of refrigerant will have to be replaced. Okay, this is what's called a near azeotrope. You do have to charge this as liquid only. You can't charge it as gas. If I charge it as liquid, there's no issue with these two gases separating. And so 410A has to be charged as a liquid. They're calling it a near azeotrope because it doesn't separate easily. The two refrigerants are going to have fairly close boiling points at the same temperature and uh, and so they it doesn't separate easily but it does separate. That's what an azeotrope is. Remember azeotrope is a single fluid acts as a single fluid even though it's a blend of two or three a zeotrope does not. A zeotrope could have quite a large difference in 
the boiling points of the two or three refrigerants and if there's a leak or if you charge them with gas they will separate and they're no longer the same refrigerant. Hope this thing makes sense.